Hello everyone and welcome back to Whiskey Wednesday. Game of Thrones week two, Klein Leash, 51.2% ABV. Uh, there's no age statement, so we can't really give you a clear indication of age or barrel influence because they've kept all that quite close to the chest. I think it was only the Lagavulin and the Royal Loch Nagar, which had age statements on them of nine and 12. Uh, but purely by taste, we can take a, a good old guess. And if any of you have tried it, please let me know in the comments. Uh, I love Klein Leash. I think it's an amazing distillery. They don't do enough so when I heard this was coming out at like 48 pounds a bottle, I took advantage of it straight away, bought one, opened it. Uh, I'm not drinking at home at the minute because I'm trying to decorate stuff. So I'm leaving them here and the staff have had a good go of it so they can tell what it tastes like. Um, in all in all, it's quite a typical Klein Leash and we'll get into that when we smell and taste it. But um, I believe this was meant to be some sort of distillery exclusive or it's based upon the distillery exclusive that they now have in the visitor center. Um, so you know, a cash strength, I think the one at the distillery is all sherry. I believe this one to be mainly bourbon with maybe a bit of sherry in it. But Great Distillery doesn't do enough. If you have the opportunity to try Klein Leash, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's probably one of the best, I can still use the word underrated, it probably is still one of the best underrated Highland distilleries in all of Scotland. Um, enough rant, whiskey, let's go. So let's smell first. Now, for those of you that haven't tried Klein Leash, you won't know what I mean when I say classic Klein Leash, but it has this like, waxy element to it. So I think like, you know, candle wax and waxy lemon skin, and, like waxy fruit skins in general, like, you know, really shiny green apples and another pretentious tasting note or smelling note for you. Um, you know, when you used to do like Bob the Apple as a kid, and it's that smell of apples in water. There's like a little bit of that going on with it. And considering it's 51.2%, there's not a lot of intensity on the nose. Um, the beauty of these glasses, as you, most of you will know, is if you smell from there, you get those light floral notes, and if you smell around the glass, if you smell from down here, you're going to get the intensity. So I'm not going to smell down there because it is 51.2%. There's a little bit of caramel, there's a bit of vanilla. The waxiness and the lemony nature of it all really, really shines through. Other than that, there's, there's not too much going on with it. There's nothing I can kind of pull out and something that's too unusual. Sweet, fresh, a little bit of pepper due to the, the slight sizzle of ABV. But nothing crazy. Big fruity, waxy, lemon skin, bit of green apple, candle wax, pepper, caramel, vanilla. Pretty typical for a Highland. The only the waxy thing is very Klein Leashy. But let's taste it, because that's, that's where all the money is. Spicy, chilli, salty. Waxiness is now there as a texture rather than a smell. It's got a beautiful kind of, it holds the mouth very nicely. This actually reminds me quite a lot of you know, like, um, like, you know, buffalo, buffalo sauce, like the sauce you get on buffalo wings. It's got that really kind of immediate heat to it and then it kind of slowly dies off. There's a, not no sweetness, but the sweetness that was there on the nose from like the lemon and the caramel, that's almost like not there on the palate, but in a good way. Um, you know, if you like big cash strength Highland whiskies, you're really going to dig this. Surprisingly salty. Um, salt isn't something I normally get with Klein Leash, even though it is a, a coastal distillery. Yeah, like um, almost quite similar to the Lagavulin, the Game of Thrones Lagavulin. It's got this savoury, salty nature to it, like a, like a saline kind of vibe. But any sweetness that you had on the nose is gone. It's replaced by this really large intensity of like buffalo chili heat. Um, a little bit of mustard as well. Kind of gets into your nose a little bit, like horse radishy spice. So big, very powerful. Even with the ABV, um, the finish is long, but I can't decide if it's long due to the ABV or due to aging. Um, it's no age statement, so there will be some older stuff in there. I tell you, you're probably rocking about 10 years old. Um, Klein Leash has a 14 as a standard, so you can probably assume there's a fair bit of that in there as well. 
but I probably say no older than that, like 10 to 14 years old for something that's just below 50 pounds. That is my guess. If anyone can correct me, feel free to. I think it's a really lovely whiskey. The finish gets kind of smaller and smaller and smaller. It, it degradates off into its own little thing. I would love to try this next to Kleinleash 14 and just see how different or similar they are, minus the alcohol at all. We can water this down to 46% in a controlled environment. I think it's really, really good. I don't think it's as good as the Lagavulin. I think the Lagavulin is like top dog in terms of flavor of the ones I've tried. Um, so we gave that an eight. I think I'm gonna roll with like a seven and a half with this. It's a really good quality whiskey. And for the price, it's outrageous. Um, I don't think it does as much as the numbers state, but it's still a really nice whiskey and it's a really good buy as well. If you want just something big and powerful, or you want to try Klein Leash, this at the minute is probably a bit more easy to get than the Klein Leash 14 is. Uh, so it's 7.5 out of 10 for the Game of Thrones Klein Leash. Thank you all for watching. Uh, I'm Phil. This is the Whiskey Shop in Manchester. Pop by if you want to see me. And I will see you all next week. Cheers.